Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. As you can see from the title of this video, your girl is about to do another story time. But before I jump into the story time, I need each and every one of you to make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Make sure that post notification is turned on. So every time I upload a video, you will be notified like immediately. Like, so you have to make sure you select all so you'll be notified immediately. If this is your first time here, welcome to the family. You don't want to miss out on any of my content because we be turned over on this channel. And we are growing every day. We are growing. And I appreciate you for stopping in to even come to see what your girl's about to talk about. Like, I appreciate you for that. And all of my returning subscribers, I love y'all dearly. Thank you for all y'all love and support. And I do it for you guys so with that being said i'm not about to sit here and talk we're going to jump right into this video but make sure you guys subscribe and also i will be putting the links in my bio for my other youtube channels and i want y'all to go go over there and subscribe to those as well because each channel got different content so go check it out see what you're interested in because i have a little something for everybody. Period. <laughs> now let me stop. But I'm dead serious. All right. So first thing first, we're about to get into this video. Let's see from the title. I'm gonna be telling y'all about the experience I had at a nail salon, a nail shop, right? So before I get into this video and tell y'all about what happened, let me just explain something to y'all, right? I am really, really big on when it comes down to my hair and my nails. I've been doing this for years and I spend a lot of money on my hair and my nails. With that being said, when I go to get services from these people, when I go to get services from these people, I expect the services to be top notch. I expect the services to be top notch. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. Whenever I go into, like, honestly, I like to stick with one or two people. Like, I like to stick with the same person. I'm not really with that. Every time I get on camera, somebody, it's calling and texting like it's, it's it never gives anyways i'm the type of person i like to stick with one person right because when it comes down to my hair i'm very funny about who getting my hair because i'm real big on energy and when it comes down to my nails i like my nails to be slay like slay i pay a lot of money for my nails and my nails is a part of, part of me. I'm going to just say that. It's a part of me, right? So, with that being said, y'all, you guys know right now, I am not home. I'm not in Texas. I'm traveling due to business, right? So, your girl went to a nail salon. First time going to this nail salon. All right, y'all, so we about to jump right into this video. But before we get into the video, I just wanted to um, show you guys really quickly some things I purchased from the vitamin store. So um, your girl is tapping into more of her healthy journey. Um, so with that being said, like I'm about to start going back to the gym. You know, I'm about to start doing more, you know, self-care things. And it goes right along with, you know, self-care for yourself. Like, you know, getting your hair done, getting your nails done, getting your pedicures, getting your eyebrows done, getting your eyelashes done. And also, you got to make sure you take care of your internal body as well. So, I'm really big on that. I don't only take care of my outside of my body. I take good care of my inside of my body as well. Because you want to make sure you stay healthy. You want to make sure you got that good energy. You want to make sure you got your vitamins. You want to make sure you input in things in your body that needs to be there to keep you up and going and being, you know, healthy. Definitely me working in the medical field. As you guys know, 
I have to be on my P's and Q's because I deal with a lot of sick people on the day-to-day -day basis. So not only that, we got to make sure we have our vaccines, the things to protect us and to protect our clients and um, customers and people who break in the hospital, we want to make sure everybody is safe. So with that being said, um, I was out the other day and that's what's going to lead us to our story time about this nail salon. Um, the other day I went out, I went a little shopping and I was in the area. It had a lot of, a lot of stores. I was like, oh, I seen this nail salon. And I was like, you know what? Um, I want to go get my nails done because I already have my, my hair appointment schedule, which was in a whole nother location. But I'm like, you know what? Let me go get my nails done. Because by the time I go get my hair done, I know I'm not going to have time to get my nails done. Because it was in two different areas, in a sense, right? So, I was out shopping and I came across this vitamin store. It's called Vitamin. Um, Yeah, the vitamin shop. So, it was time for me to upload on some vitamins. Now, mind you, I had vitamins at home when I packed my suitcase. If you watch my other videos, and if you haven't, pause this and go watch the other videos. I think that video is under me traveling. It's something like a travel wall. When I packed, I didn't pack correctly. I didn't pack correctly. I packed most of my hygiene stuff. And I want to leave my vitamins. It's crazy because I had all the vitamins on my desk ready to pack and put in the suitcase and I forgot them. So I seen this store and cause I've been saying I wanted to go to CVS and I was saying I'm gonna order it on Tongan, but this is and that. But when I seen the store, I was like, we here, let me go in there and buy it. So I don't have the receipt. Everything came up to like $67, but it was worth it. So let me show y'all what I got. So this is the bag it came in. So first thing I got is the Oli. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, so I have the Daily Energy. Cause your girl be on the go. I'm about to take one of these right now. And it tastes really good. And I got these. I got the kids multi vitamins. This is for my um, teenager. I got him these right here. And then I got the men vitamins. I bought this for my older son. Yeah, I know he's 18. Because I was going to see if, um, if I could give this to my, my teenager, but... This one is for 18 and older, so I couldn't. So I had to buy him his own vitamins. And then the women multivitamins. I bought these for myself. So for all 40, it came out to like $67, I believe. Like around there, $67 to $70. Um, so I feel like it was worth it, yes. Because vitamins is something um that is really good to have. And... And these vitamins, they have vitamin A, C, D, E, and B. Right? And so let me tell you what's in the other vitamins. And then, um, of course, the daily energy. Y'all already know. If y'all into vitamins, you should know what energy vitamins have in it. It have B12. And then on the men multivitamins. He have A, C, D, E, B, and then my sons, he have, oh, this is kids immunity. So they didn't have the kids multivitamins. So I'm going to have to get him some from um, CVS, but this is the immunity. Um, this is good for your kids. Also, definitely when, if your kids is school age kids, because we know in these schools, these kids be sick, y'all. So that's that. I'm not going to get too much into talking y'all head off about vitamins, but I just wanted to show y'all that really quickly. My little vitamin shopping haul. 
So let's put this to the side. All right, so y'all, let's let's jump right into this video. So as you can see, like I said from the title, this is basically me doing a story time with you guys, letting y'all know my experience at this nail salon. So I am going to put the name of the nail salon right up here. I'm also going to enter pictures right here and right here. Um, so you could visualize how my nail is supposed to look and this is how it looks, right? So the pictures is going to be here somewhere. So boom, baby. I was walking, shopping. I was like, you know what? I want to go get my nails done. I already had my hair appointment set. I already knew these braids because these braids come all the way down. Like they come all the way down. Like they come down to like my knees, like all the way. Right, I knew this was gonna take time. This hairstyle took about seven hours, I think. I got there like around one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it took about seven hours. And when I got there, I was like, oh, I started like around one. I was like, I'm gonna be done by seven at night. So, I seen this nail salon. I went in there. Um, I'm scoping out the scene. I see a lot of people in there getting their nails done. Y'all all know it was tax time, so it was even more crowded. Because normally, you could go off. Like, I read reviews, but you could also know what it's hitting if you see, like, it was a lot of people in there. But I really couldn't go off that because it was tax time. And, you know, people was outside. They was just outside. You know, people was getting their nails on their hair done, whatever, whatever, whatever. So, I went in there. I'm a very straightforward person, y'all. If y'all know me, y'all know me. Your girl don't play. I went. Me personally, I don't like no man doing my nails. I want a woman, okay? So, I went in. How can I help you? You know, and they, they trying to voice. So, I'm like, I want to get a pedicure and I want to get a full set. Um, I always ask how much. You always should ask how much because when you don't ask how much, that leaves a, a window open for them to try to play with you, right? And try to switch things up. We're not doing that. You're going to tell me an estimate or you're going to tell me how much. I know how I get my nails done. I always get my nails done long unless I have to get shorties. I'm not really a shorty. I'm really into long nails. So when they put the nails on, I have them just tip a little bit of it and start shaping, right? So I went in there, I asked her, I said, do you do good? Do you do nails good? Because I know my nails cost at least a hundred and it could be a little bit more than a hundred depending on what I'm getting on my nails. So um, let me show you my nails. So this is my nails. So this is, um, of course it's gel, but this is like the chrome, not chrome. It's basically, what is it called? What is it called? Y'all know what it's called. It comes like in a jar. So meaning if I go get a filling, I would have to get the same color. If y'all know what I'm talking about. It's on the top of my tongue, but I can't remember. So that costs even more money. And then I get my nails done long. So I just went, y'all, to this nail salon. So I asked her, do you do nails? Because she said yes. So um, when I told her, she, when she put the nails on, she was like, how short you want me to cut it? I said, no, leave it long. You know, just clip the little piece off of it and just shape, um, you know, stiletto, not too pointy. So she did, you know, she did, she did her thing. And um, she told me how much. She was like, a hundred and however much. I was like, no problem. That's fine. Um, so in that instance, when I was like, I want to do a pedicure, she started talking in, you know, her language. Oh, pedicure, pedicure, pedicure. Um, you know, she's starting to get her stuff ready. I said, no, 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 no. I want you to do my nails first. And once I'm done with my nails, I will go sit and do a pedicure. I don't like that. Me getting a pedicure. I want to be able to sit back and enjoy the massage and enjoy not my hands getting pulled this way and doing this and doing that. I don't, I don't want that. Now, unless if I was in a rush and needed to go somewhere and I needed to get it done like that, yeah, but I wasn't in a rush. I wanted to sit, 
relax and you know vibe out and, and get my my spot do my spot thing so she was like okay no problem so now it was crazy because there was so many people in there so the lady that was doing my nails you know whenever you go to a nail salon and you go to chinese people or you go to um what is the mother people called chinese and um i forgot but they, as soon as you sit in a chair, they start asking you wow questions. They want to know all your business because they want to see if they could try to add more money onto your services. Or they'd be like, do your eyebrows, do your feet, do this, wax, this, this, and that. I'm not here to talk about my personal business. I'm here to get a service. I'm paying you for and that's that. I make sure I keep my conversation very minimal with these nail techs because it could get crazy real quick with them, Right? And, um, so I sat down in the chair. She started doing my nails. She put them on. And I was feeling the energy. It was good. It was good. You know, she shaped them really good. Um, she asked me, it was like two different pinks. She asked me which one did I want. I told her which one I want. And, um, I was satisfied. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I was, I was satisfied with the customer service. I even tipped her. Um, even my, my feet came out really nice. I was satisfied until, until I did my nails last week. I could say Thursday, yesterday, doing what I'm doing, doing what I'm doing. Bam. One nail pops off. This is not even a week, cause today is Friday. This was the other day, Wednesday. Nail popped off, I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. So I'm like, well, it ain't time for no feeling. So what we do? I, I was like, you know what? I'ma just go to the beauty supply store. Um, cause I left all my my nail glue. I don't think I bought my nail glue with me, but I'ma I'm check. And this is the nail right here, okay? Pop clean off. Now, let me tell y'all something about these nail techs. A lot of them, what they do is, if they see they got a lot of people, they want to hurry up and rush you because they want to get the next person in. I didn't get that from her that she was rushing, but I also know that when it comes down to the glue, they could give you bare minimal glue or they would not really apply what they need to apply to your nails in order for your nails to last. There is no way. I just got my nails done last week and I paid a hundred plus and my nail already popped off. That was two days ago. Then yesterday, I'm doing whatever I'm doing. Pop! The other nail came off. We have two nails that already popped off. So I said to myself, wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Something is not right. Now, I could do one or two things. I could just apply the the glue and just go on about my business. Or I could go back to the nail salon and let her know, listen, I just got my nails done last week. Two of my nails popped off already, and I need you to fix my nails. You got some that will be humble and be like, okay, they will fix it. With an attitude, they'll be mad rough with your nails. And then, Keyshawn, get the door. And then, you got some who would just gratefully fix your nails because they know you pay a lot of money and your nails should not be messed up. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. Honestly, I'm not never going back to them, to be honest. Um, so I looked at my other nails. So I looked at my other nails and I started like pressing on them a little bit and they feeling loose. So that goes to tell me that these nails is about to pop off. So I will be giving them a review. I'm gonna put their name on the screen like I told y'all so y'all can see 
what nail salon I went to. And yeah, I'm just going to stick to what I know. And lesson learned, this is what I learned. If you have someone that you normally go to, stick to that person. Even though, because I've been seeing a lot of the girlies, they be flying out to different states. They be in different states and they be wanting to get their nails done, their eyebrows done, eyelashes done, and they be unhappy because these people, you're not going to get everybody that's going to do good service on you. So when you find somebody, you need to stick with them. And that is a lesson that I learned. I am devastated because my nails is cute, but my thumbs just popped off. So that takes away from the baddie look. I'm not gonna be a baddie with eight nails. I have eight nails, y'all. That takes away from my beautiful nail set. But y'all, with that being said, that was my nail tech story. It was good at first and then it turned into a disaster because now your girl is left with out two nails. But with that being said, y'all, I love y'all. Thank you for tuning in. I hope y'all like this video. If you enjoy, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Make sure you share the video. And make sure you guys subscribe and turn on your post notifications. Because let me tell y'all something. Your girl is coming back with the bangers back to back. And I'm going to be consistent from this day moving forward. So with that being said, love y'all. Talk to y'all later.